Hello, my name is Vanessa Amara Rogers and I'm the Pesticides Officer for Bug Life. Did you know that one out of every three mouthfuls depends on crops being pollinated by insects? Did you know that our pollinators are fast declining and we stand to lose £1.8 billion a year if this doesn't stop? Did you know that European countries, which have already banned neonicotinoid pesticides, are now reporting healthier bee populations? Last week, a report published by 25 wildlife organisations on the state of nature showed insects are in trouble. Over 50% of bees are declining and 250 pollinators are under threat of extinction. We have to act now. A number of factors are to blame. Habitat loss, shortage of wildflowers and disease are all placing stress on these essential invertebrates. But the increasing use of pesticides, in particular the neonicotinoid insecticides, are a major contributory factor in the mass decline of both honeybees and wild pollinators. Over 200 studies by independent scientists in some of the world's most prestigious journals have found that neonics can have harmful effects on our wildlife. So why do we have to take care of our pollinators? In Sichuan, China, their pollinators have been decimated by pesticides. Now workers individually hand pollinate fruit trees. If we had to do that here in the UK, it would cost us £1.8 billion a year. In your MP briefing letter, we've mentioned the issues and how devastating the potential impacts could be. Now we need to ask for your help. The European Union has recently put forward a new piece of legislation to restrict the use of three of the most common neonicotinoids, imidacloprid, thymifoxin and clothianidin, on crops which are attractive to bees and summer sown cereals. Whilst it is a small step in the right direction, Bug Life and other independent experts have stated that it is not enough to prevent this pollination catastrophe. The weight of scientific evidence now warrants precautionary action. Do we want these summer fruits to become a thing of the past? This Thursday, 6 of June 2013, a backbench debate will be held in the House of Commons to discuss pollinators and pesticides. The Environmental Audit Committee published a report based on a four-month inquiry into neonicotinoids and the effect on pollinators, providing substantially more robust recommendations for the future of our pollinators and agricultural industry. Your constituents need you to raise these issues. We need a national pollinating monitoring programme to underpin this new piece of legislation and to provide answers on whether the ban is working. To request that the agrochemical companies publish their data on the public domain to inform academic research and increase transparency for the public. For government to work towards reducing the dependency on pesticides by providing incentives for farmers to take up integrated pest management in line with the European Directive on the Sustainable Use of Pesticides or to switch to organic farming. Bug Life will be hosting a live Q&A session on Wednesday the 5th of June 2013 between 10 and 11am to answer any questions that you may have prior to the debate. Further details can be found in your briefing letter but please make sure you're there on Thursday to raise these issues on behalf of your constituents.